look at all the animal Play-Doh cutters. Which animal shall we make first? Hmm, how about this one? Can you guess what type of animal this is? That's right, it's a giraffe. Now, what color shall we use to make our giraffe? Hmm, how about orange? Yeah, let's go make it. I'll just put my cutter to the right here and open the Play-Doh. Nice color. Now I need to roll it out really flat so I can cut out the shape. I've got a whole lot of pattern rollers. Now, which one would be best for a giraffe? How about this one in the middle? Let's try it out. Oh wow, can you see the pattern? I'll lift it up for you so you can take a closer look. Wow, that looks amazing. Now we're ready to cut out the giraffe shape. I'll just press it down here. And carefully pull it out of the mold. <gasps> wow! It's the shape of the giraffe. I have this tub of black and white Play-Doh and I'll make some eyes for the giraffe. I'll take one scoop of white and one scoop of black. There's the eyes. Now mouth. A giraffe has a really long neck. I'll put some hair on it. And I'll just use my little dough cutter to make some detail on the hair. Oh, and I need to give the giraffe a nose. That's better. Hmm, what shall I use this pink for? Ah, how about the giraffe's ears? There's one and two. And I'll use this brown Play-Doh to make the two Aussie cones on the top of the giraffe's head. I'll use some black Play-Doh for the giraffe's feet and some more for its tail. We've finished our giraffe. Looks great. Here comes a real giraffe. Look how tall it is. And this is a family of giraffes walking in the savanna. Their height helps them to reach high up into the trees for food. Now, which animal shall we make next? Ah, how about the crocodile? Oh, yes, let's make this one. Now, which color shall we use for our crocodile? Hmm, uh, how about green? Yes, we'll use green. Let's go make it. Just put the crocodile cutter up here. And let's get out the Play-Doh. And I'll get my rolling pin to roll it out nice and smooth. I have some patterns. Which one shall I use? How about the one in the middle? Yes, this one. That looks a bit like a crocodile skin. Ooh, can you see the pattern? Oh, it looks great! Let's take a closer look. Now we're ready to cut out our shape. I'll press it here, down in the middle. And carefully remove the cutter. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Oh, wow! Looks amazing! I'll make some eyes, and a nose, and some feet, and some color for its belly. And I'll put some detail on here. Squish it down there, that looks about right. And now for its back, I'll give it some scales. And all done, we made a crocodile. <gasps> Look, it's a real crocodile. I wonder where it's going. <laughs> this crocodile has just been for a swim while his friends are enjoying the sunshine. Crocodiles are really scaly and they have sharp teeth. That was fun. Which animal shall we make next? I know, how about this one? Can you guess which type of animal this is? That's right, it's a flamingo. And what color are flamingos? That's right, they're pink. Let's go make it. Now, I'll just place my cutter up here so I can roll out the dough. Ooh, it's a really bright pink. This'll look great. And roll it out really flat. And 
I'll get my shape cutter and press it down in the middle. There we go. And take out the mold. Oh, and I've made the outline of the flamingo. Now I'll give it some eyes and put some color in its beak and some tuft of hair on the top of its head. And I'll use this pattern roller to make some feathers for its back. I'll use the cutter to make the shape. That looks about right. And then cut it out. And place it here. Now I think I'll make the legs the color orange. I'll press it down here. We made a flamingo. Flamingos have really long legs. Let's count the flamingos. There are one, two, three, four, and five at the beach. Which animal shall we make next? Hmm, how about this one? Do you recognize the shape of this animal? That's right, it's a lion. And what color shall we use? How about yellow? Yes, yellow. Let's go make it. I'll put the line cutter up here so we can roll out the dough. And I'll use my rolling pin to make it really flat so we can cut out the shape. Now, I'll just get my cutter and I'll press it into the middle of the dough. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, we made the outline of a lion. Now I need to give it a face. I've made the eyes and a nose and mouth, and now I'll make its mane. This special roller has a fur pattern. Wow, can you see the pattern? Looks amazing. Now, I'll cut out the mane using the shape cutter. And press it in here at the top and some at the bottom. I'll use some black play-doh for its feet and for the tip of its tail. Well, we made a lion. And look, it's a real lion. Look at its big mane. This is a lion walking in the savanna. Isn't he beautiful? We only have one more shape cutter left. Hmm, what type of animal is this? It's called a sloth. Now, let's use a fun color this time. How about purple? Yes, this will be perfect. Let's go make the sloth. Now, I'll just put my shape cutter up here and get out the dough. Ooh, it's a really purple. And use my roller to roll it out flat. Now I have some patterns. Which one shall I use? Hmm, I think I'll use the fur one, the orange one. Yes. And roll it out. See the pattern. And I'll put my shape cutter in the middle here and press it down firmly. And then take it out. And we've made the outline of the sloth. Now I'll make a face. I'll use this light color Play-Doh and press it in here. And let's take it out and see what it looks like. Oh, I see the sloth's face. I'll place it down here and then I'll give it a nose, mouth, two eyes. Press that down there and some pores. Oh, and we made our sloth. This is a real sloth hanging onto a branch. This sloth must have very strong arms. Do you notice that sloths move very slow? Wow, we made all of these animals today out of Play-Doh. We made a giraffe, a lion, a crocodile, a sloth, and a flamingo. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainbow.